Episode of Prep for the Phantom Liberty DLC for Cyberpunk 2077 starts with a brand new patch, the 1.63 patch for Cyberpunk 2077. And today, guys, we go through the entire thing. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so patch 1.63 for Cyberpunk is being rolled out on PC, PS5 and the Xbox Series X and S. The update contains various gameplay and quest fixes. And today, guys, we check out everything. Okay, so starting with quests. Fixed an issue where selecting a blue dialogue option while calling Mitch twice could cause the call to be permanently stuck on the screen. All along the watchtower, fixed an issue where V gets flatlined after crossing the border. Chipping in, it is now possible to examine all of the clues on a Bunic before becoming detected. Gimme danger, fixed an issue where there were no objectives left in the journal. I walk the line, fixed an issue that could cause V to randomly flatline during the quest. Lightning breaks fixed an issue where Pan Am wasn't present in front of the garage and spawned inside the mortal instead. Machine gun fixed an issue where the dialogue with Skippy wasn't activated after performing 50 kills and it wasn't then possible to unequip Skippy. Never fade away fixed an issue where Rogue despawned from the couch in the Atlantis blocking progress. Only pain. Fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to completely defeat the cops objective before the cops weren't present at the intended location. Play it safe. Fixed an issue where holograms and platforms in the parade disappeared after an auto save was loaded. Play it safe. Fixed an issue where Takamura didn't call to start the parade mission. Pyramid Song. Fixed an issue where Judy teleported underground after entering the church. Search and destroy. Takamura will now move to his hiding spot instead of standing in the middle of the room during Arazaka's attack. Sex on wheels. Fixed an issue where the Quadro Turbo RV Tech spawned on the ground, blocking progress. Small man, big math. Enemies and the van now spawn correctly. The heist. Fixed an issue where Jackie wasn't present in front of the afterlife. With a little help from my friends. Fix an issue where the nomads weren't present at the train station. Okay, so now moving on to the open world. Fix some instances where gigs were stuck in the undiscovered stage and didn't start after approaching the area. Fix an issue where regular subtitles appeared instead of overheard subtitles for some crowd NPCs in Rancho Coronado. Gig, Bloodsport. V will no longer be reflected standing backwards when looking in the mirror in the Bojo bathroom. Gig last login fixed an issue where it was possible to pick up the quest item before the quest was activated, breaking the flow of the mission. Gig going away party fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to get in a car with Flavio. Gig guinea pigs all the security robots in the hotel now properly engage in combat. Gig on the tight leash fixed an issue that could cause the gig to be stuck without an objective after completing it. Gig serial suicide. Fixed an issue where the quest could reactivate again after completion and become stuck on the steal the CCTV footage objective. Reported crime, blood in the air. Fixed an issue where the quest was stuck on the search the crate objective even after searching the crate. And reported crime, come red red. Fixed an issue where it wasn't possible to search the stash. Okay, so now on to UI. Fixed an issue where while transferring money or data, the UI showed the enemy hack in progress text. Fix an issue where devices could become unstable after opening the map and fix an issue where the FSR toggle wasn't grayed out after restarting the game with dynamic resolution scaling on. Onto visual. Fix an issue where some surfaces had colour artifacts when path tracing was enabled. Fix an issue where bright colourful flashes appeared at the edges of certain objects when DLSS was enabled. Okay, so now onto PC specific. Fixed a crash uh, that occurred on launch when using Chroma. Fixed an issue where photo mode screenshots could appear as empty files and brought them back to the original folder location. Improved performances of the LSS frame generation on AMD CPUs. Okay, so console specific. 
change the number of available save slots on Xbox to 20 for manual saves and 10 for point of no return saves. Players who have a number of saves that exceeds the new limit will need to delete some saves to be able to create new saves. Addressed an issue affecting performance on the Xbox Series X and S after playing for an extended period of time. A miscellaneous, four or more stickers and frames will now properly appear on screenshots and Padre will now recognize Corporal and Nomad V in the intro holocool. Okay, so red mod, and this is Leslie guys. Allowed deploying mods from a listing file and updated command help texts. Okay, so those are the patch notes for the latest patch within Cyberpunk 2077, the patch 1.63. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. Let me know your thoughts on these down below, and hopefully, guys, I will see you within Phantom Liberty.